here to interrupt your regular scheduled programming of an Azure video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Power BI. More specifically, renaming columns automatically within Power BI. My name is Mitchell Pearson and today I think we're going to be taking a look at something that's pretty cool. You've probably been there. You opened up a Power BI report, you've imported some data, and you realize you needed to rename the column. So you renamed the column. You double clicked, you renamed it, you hit enter, you waited. You did it again, you waited. Well, I was doing this just the other night and I finally came to the conclusion that I've had it. I'm never going to rename another column manually again. And so I launched the Power Query editor, opened up the M functions that were there and I started to go and explore. And after a few moments of some meager and feeble attempts, I realized that I wanted to find somebody who's done the work for me. Uh, and so that's what I did. I opened up the browser search engine of my choice and I started to search and I found a great article, a great blog, and I think you're going to enjoy this. This is amazing. It's awesome. In the words of Patrick LeBlanc, it's bananas. So let's dive right in. Take a look at how to solve this example. I'm not going to give you the script, but you can get it from the notes of the video just below. Go out there, take a look at the guy's video or the, the blog rather. And uh, if you're like me, you can go ahead and purchase the book as well. I purchased it. Haven't gotten it yet. Comes in the mail tomorrow. At the time of you watching this video, it's going to be like time travel. I've already gotten the book and I'm digging in. So I can't quite endorse the book yet, but purchase at your own risk. Let's jump right in, take a look at Power BI Desktop and see what we can do. As described back in Power BI Desktop, immediately we can see that my customer key does not have a space. Geography key does not have a space. And this is the pattern throughout all of this data right here in this AdventureWorks data that we are all very familiar with. And so what I want to show you here is the blog that I found and this guy writing this blog, you see Gil right here also has a book on Elm. So I definitely would encourage you to maybe come in here, check it out. The link will be posted in the notes below for this video. And what we're going to do is he's got a couple of examples. One where you can just say, look, there's a character in there. Let's replace that character with a space. That's super easy. That's what I was actually hoping for when I was trying to build my own example but it turned out to be a little bit more complicated than I had hoped. And so I found this blog. Now you'll notice right here, he has the camel case challenge. Fortunately for me, that is the exact scenario that I'm trying to solve. Now, in order to kind of work with this, what I'm going to do is copy out that code, take it back to power BI desktop, put it into a blank query, create a function. And then this is going to be really easy. If you've never done this before, that's okay. All you have to do is copy out all of the code right here just like that and then we will copy it go back over to power bi desktop and in power bi desktop we're going to go and do a new source blank query that's going to start us a blank query where we can write elm we'll do advanced editor and then we're going to delete everything in here because we don't need any of that and we'll paste in the code that's ultimately going to create a function so then we click done and we're actually almost there I do want to give this a name, so I'll call this something very simple like FX uh, rename columns and hit enter. And now we got this function that does all this work. We don't quite understand what the work is, but we know it's going to be awesome. How do we use it? The way that we use this is we go to the table where we want to rename the columns. So on this table, for example, we're on dim customer. Once again, we see that the column headers need to be renamed. So I'm going to click right here at the very top where I see add step. I click on that button right there and it gives us the previous step right here, which we can leverage. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to type in table dot transform. The IntelliSense is helping me out. Column names is the one that we want. So table dot transform column names. We give it the table that we're going to be doing the operation on, which is the previous step. And then we're going to pass in our function. So FX rename columns. And that right there is it. As soon as we hit enter, watch what happens with customer key, geography key, customer ultimate key, so on and so forth. And there we go. Everything has now been renamed. This is a beautiful thing. So what do you do from here? Well, you go to the next table, wash, rinse, repeat, do it again. And so within a few seconds here, if you have 50 columns, 100 columns, 1,000 columns, I would recommend against 1,000 columns in Power BI, maybe even 100 in a single table. That's a lot going to take up a lot of memory. But if you do, this is going to work for all of those columns. This is a really awesome solution. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff and you'll be notified when I do more videos in the future. If you didn't, uh, well, thank you for watching anyway. Have a good day.